I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test paper. Here are a few multiple choice questions. I would like you to pause the video, copy the questions, try them yourself. Uh, let me go through them one by one. The first question here is, a line has x intercept 5, y intercept of minus 2. Find a vector equation of the line. Four choices are given to you. Uh, thanks to my student who has got all of them right. So you can check your answer with the answers given here in the test paper, right? So let's move on to the next question, which is write the scalar or Cartesian equation of the plane with normal vector n as 1 minus 1, 1 and having x intercept of 7, right? So you need to check all of these, which one is the right choice. Now here are question number 3 and 4. It says a plane passes through the origin and has the direction vectors 1, 2, 3 and minus 1, 3, minus 2. Find a scalar or Cartesian equation of the plane. Next question is the equation of the plane x, y, z is 3, 1, 3 plus s times minus 1, 1, 2 plus t times 2, 1, 1. Find a normal vector to the plane. So you need to cross multiply the two direction vectors to get the answer. The last question on this page is a line has slope of minus 3 and y intercept of 5. Find a vertical equation of the line. Right. So there are more questions but there is one which I want to discuss with you. Here it is. So the question which I want to discuss with you is question number 9. A plane pi, uh, let's look into this question in further details. It says, a plane pi has 3x minus 5z plus 3 equals to 0 as its Cartesian equation. Determine the Cartesian equation of a plane that is perpendicular to pi and contains this point. That is the first part. And the second part to this question is, determine the Cartesian equation of a plane that is parallel to pi and contains the point given to you as 2, 9, minus 3, right? So that is the question. I'd like you to pause the video and answer the question. I'll begin from part 2. It says, determine the Cartesian equation of a plane that is parallel to the given plane and contains the point. Parallel means same normal, right? So I can say that plane, let's say pi 2, should be equal to what? It will be equals to 3x minus 5z plus that number will change. That is how we make it parallel. d equals to 0. Now to find the value of d, we can substitute the point itself. Remember when we write like this, it is kind of like this. Let me rewrite this. It is like 3x plus 0y, right? Minus 5z plus d equals to 0, right? Think like this. So, so the normal is having, is the normal is 3, 0, minus 5. So that is the normal for this plane, right? Now if I substitute 2 for x, 9 for y, and minus 3 for z, I can calculate the value of t. So let me substitute. So 2, if I substitute here, I get 2 um, times 3. Let me write here 3 minus. Uh, so this is z. z is for minus 3. So 5 times minus 3 plus d equals to 0. So that gives you 6 plus 15 plus d equals to 0. Or you can say d is equals to minus of, let me go one more step, so 6 plus 3 is 21, let me write like this now, and so d equals to minus 21. Now that, once we know, we can write down the equation, and so the Cartesian equation of the plane will be 3x minus 5z minus 21 equals to 0. So that is how you can do part b which is parallel to the given plane. 
Now let's get back to the part one. It says determine the Cartesian equation of a plane that is perpendicular to this plane, right? Now perpendicular means we need normal which is perpendicular. Now what is the normal here? So for this plane pi, normal is what? So normal is is actually equal to, we can write like 3, 0 and minus 5. Perpendicular plane, so we are looking for another plane which is perpendicular. So let me write this as perpendicular plane. What is going to be the normal for that? Now, there is a very easy way of finding normal in such situation. Let's keep this zero there itself and interchange these values. We have 5 here and, and 3 here. Well, what we really do is we interchange and then change one of the signs. So if I change this sign to positive, that will ensure that these two normals are perpendicular, right? So what you can do is you can test it out. If you find dot product between these two, it will be zero, right? But that's a easy way of finding the normal from the given normal without doing many calculations, correct? I hope you understand and appreciate this part. And that is the reason why I took up this example from the test paper. So now we can write our equa equation for the plane. Let's say now the equation for the plane which is perpendicular will be what? Instead of 3x minus 5, you know, it will be 5x plus 3z and this value we don't know so we'll write d here equals to 0. To find the value of t, we can use the point itself, 2, 9, minus 3. So 2 is the x value, so we'll write 5 times 2 plus z value of minus 3 plus d equals to 0. So, th so that is 10 minus 9 plus d equals to 0. And that gives us d as equal to 10 minus 9 is 1. When you take it on the other side, it's minus 1, right? So we get our equation, which could be written as 5x plus 3z minus 1 equals to 0, right? So that is the solution for the given question, right? So I hope you understand and appreciate the steps. Thank you and all the best.